The styles in flamenco or panos are divided in three branches. One is the branch of ad libitum music, means without rhythm, like the rondeña, minera, and. <laughs> this kind of thing, which is free from tempo, but it's ad libitum. Palo style, the Minera, the Rondeña, Taranta, sharp without a, a, a meter rhythmic. So, this is one branch of styles. Then there is the 12 beat, 12 beats branch, which is there, Solea, Solea Pro Buleria, from slower to faster, then the Alegrias, Buleria, different styles of Buleria, Jaleo, etc. You know, Solea, for example, now is almost not played. Anymore, this is very slow tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's a slow style. Then this became the Solea Probuleria, predominant Solea Probuleria because of dancing and more rhythmical thing, like Paco changed many things. This is of course what we are talking now is what is relevant to us, because historically there are many inconsistencies which we will <laughs> study also particularly, but the thing is that in the branch of 12 beats, there is the Solea, the Solea Probuleria, the Alegrias. <laughs> and also the Solea por Buleria. This kind of thing, Solea por Buleria, so a faster thing. The Solea tends to be disappearing. It's very slow. A solo and also to accompany singers, but this was one of the, the last one. Bueno, no, Paco did some few. Last one was the Villa Vieja. Solea in the album Lucia, track number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is already a bit faster, but, but this is also played slower as well, maximum to this speed, that is just only, it's just 12 beats branch. Now, then, then we have the 4-4 four, four branch of Palos, which is, well, hit it by the tangos, by the way, before Paco de Lucia there was no solo, guitar solo of tangos, only to accompany singers and dancers, like you cannot find Sabica's piece, tangos, guitar solo, as there are many in Paco de Lucia's discography. So this is the tangos, of course Tientos was there. One, two, three, four, this four beat. Uh, and then of course tangos also change a lot, because it started from the, from the fast 
tangos uh, be considered rumba and then, then they merged, kind of merged thing. Now tangos is everything for four because Paco changed that and, and before there were only so a speed of tangos. <laughs> speed there but if, if it was faster then it was not tangos well now that's what everything is tangos also fast or not and it's very convenient this thing with Paco change that it's a very practical approach uh, in Camarón uh, the discography with Camarón de la Isla you can find several examples of this uh, styles of tangos faster played faster so therefore we have also the tanguillo which uh, is a 4-4 It's a strange thing, but this is not 6 8 at all, it's 4 4. So, this is the tanguillo, then there is the tangos, tientos, which there is one in Cositas Buenas, with the other singing a, a, a lyric that was just an exception because tientos is almost never to find. Uh, you check in the albums of new players or all, any album at all of modern players, flamenco, there is no tientos there. But this is one band or style as well. Uh, from which the tangos also came. And then Paco, improving everything rhythmically, he settled this uh, as tangos, from, starting from slower speed to fast speed, all the same. And then tientos kind of disappeared. But this is one thing, because the rumba actually, you know, before Paco rumba was the Peret rumba thing. This kind of thing. So that is not. Uh, really a, a, a pure flamenco style, but as the gypsies started to incorporate, and as Paco himself recorded with Camarón several tracks of, uh, of, of, ta of tangos, tangos, This is, was, this is faster, but still it's not a rumba, this is tangos also. And then all the gypsy people around started to compose also stuff like that, so then it became tangos flat, one thing, tangos slower or faster, but tangos at all. So that is a 4-4 branch. And then in the 6-8 in the branch there is also the jaleo, which is, is supposed to be the origin actually of the things that we will discuss also later, because uh, traditionals in the Peña environments, they, they, they think that the Solea was the first one, and I also did believe that <laughs> until Paco came and said one day accidentally, I, I listened to the real thing about this origin of the style. So therefore, just to say that the panels are, uh, the styles, some are disappearing, but still there are several styles which are played now, and this palos means a style, and there are uh, three categories of them, from the 12-bit category, or in the, in the case of the Haleo 6-8, and then the 4-4 branch, and the Atlibitum branch, so three things, this is the, the whole complete stuff, and then we will explain more about that. La improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien. Pablo. 
Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrado puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.